Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this MATLAB tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to calculate the bus impedance matrix using the MATLAB programming. For this purpose, I have considered an example from the book Power System Analysis by Hadi Sadat, Chapter 9, Examples 9.1 to 9.5. Consider the figure which shows the one-line diagram of a simple three-bus power system. Its simplified per-unit impedance diagram is shown in the figure. And we have to find its bus impedance matrix using the MATLAB program. Before going to start its MATLAB program, I want to highlight again that for the calculation of the bus impedance matrix, Hadi Sadat has already made the built-in function namely Z build. Therefore, for the convenience, you must have the MATLAB folders of the Hadi Sadat book. On this topic, I have already made the video on how to save the MATLAB folder of Power System Analysis book by Hadi Sadat in MATLAB using the set path feature. I would strongly recommend to watch this video first for the better understanding of this topic. It is because we will directly call the MATLAB functions from the MATLAB folder of the Hadi Sadat book. Let's start. At the first stage, we need to open the Hadi Sadat MATLAB folder in the current folder section. To see the basic format of writing the impedance data, just double click on this MATLAB program. It will be opened in M file. This program shows the basic format for writing the data of line impedances in order to calculate the bus impedance matrix. Just copy this highlighted portion of the program and click on this plus button to open the new M file and paste it here. Now save it by clicking on this button. Save it with any name. I have chosen impedance as the name. At this stage, I want to highlight another important point that we have to add this M file in the MATLAB folder of Hadi Sadat in order to avoid any error. You can see I have saved this M file in the Hadi Sadat MATLAB folder. It is because our program will call the impedance matrix function, which is available here. If you add M file in any other folder, then MATLAB may give error due to the unavailability of the impedance matrix function program. Now look at the format of the MATLAB program. It may be noted that this matrix is the line data input and contains four columns. The first two columns are the line bus numbers and the remaining columns contains the line resistance and reactance in per unit. Now we are going to put the values from the example data. For this purpose, just look at the figure. As the generator is connected at bus 1 having the reactance of 0.2 per unit. It means that this generator is connected from bus 0 to bus 1. Therefore, in the MATLAB program, write 0 here, 1 here, R is equal to 0 and X is equal to 0 0.2 in order to represent the impedance of the generator. Similarly, look at the figure again. It may be noted that generator 2 is connected at bus 2 having the reactance of 0 0.4 per unit. It means that this generator is also connected from bus 0 to bus 2. Therefore, in the MATLAB program, write 0 here, 2 here, R is equal to 0 and X is equal to 0 0.4 in order to represent the impedance of the second generator. Similarly, look at the figure again. Now the line impedance from bus 1 to bus 2 has the reactance of 0 0.8 per unit. Therefore, write 1 here, 2 here, R is equal to 0 and X is equal to 0 0.8 in order to represent the line impedance from bus 1 to bus 2. Similarly, look at the figure again. Now the line impedance from bus 1 to bus 3 has the reactance of 0 0.4 per unit. Therefore, write 1 here, 3 here, R is equal to 0 and X is equal to 0 0.4 in order to represent the line impedance from bus 1 to bus 3. Similarly, look at the figure again. Now the line impedance from bus 2 to bus 3 has the reactance of 0.4 per unit. 
therefore write 2 here 3 here r is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 0.4 in order to represent the line impedance from bus 2 to bus 3. Now remove this remaining data in order to complete the impedance data for our example. Now we have to call the bus impedance matrix function. This function is already built in by Hadi Sadat. The MATLAB syntax for this bus impedance matrix is shown here. Therefore we have to write this line in the MATLAB program. As here it is written Z data, for the correct program both these names must be same. Therefore change the name of this Z to Z data in order to match it and avoid any error. This Z build is the MATLAB function already built and saved in MATLAB folder of the Hadi Sadat book. If you just scroll the MATLAB folder you can see Z build MATLAB function is available here. Just double click on it to see its format. You can see this MATLAB program of bus impedance matrix is built by Hadi Sadat in 1998. This is the whole MATLAB function of bus impedance matrix. However, we will only call this function in our program. The MATLAB itself will calculate the bus impedance matrix for any kind of power system with any kind of buses and line impedances. This is the beauty of Hadi Sadat MATLAB program that this impedance matrix MATLAB function can be used to calculate the impedance matrix of any power system problem related to any book any city or any country. At this stage our program is completed. Now let's run the program by clicking on this button. Click on change folder. You can see MATLAB has calculated the bus impedance matrix of the example. Now compare the answer with the answer obtained in the example. You can see both answers are correct. Friends, in this video tutorial I have discussed how to calculate the bus impedance matrix using the MATLAB program. By using the same strategy, the bus impedance matrix of any power system from small to large size can be calculated. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Friends, I upload many videos based on various topics of power system and motivation on regular basis. Therefore, don't forget to subscribe my channel in order not to miss my latest videos. And don't forget to share my videos with your friends and class fellows so that they can also get benefit from these videos. Thank you very much.